it's a good start coughing on coughing and coughing I, I don't know about calling this one without a safety net calling it without a glass of water <laughs> hello everybody we're back hi thank you all for your kind words and your concern we are feeling a lot better not a hundred percent fit yet as you probably hear my voice is still done down in my boots but i've actually got one whereas last time you saw me i just went yeah not been not been a good three weeks but i can it's... speak now um <coughs> Nearly four weeks. So last, last, our last floss tube was on the fifteenth of January. I know. Shame, hang us, because you know somebody that looks like me and sounds like me said we'd do one every two weeks. Yeah, but we were ill. But we were ill. We were ill. Yeah. Um, and we were going to do one last week. We kind of postponed it the week before, and we're going to do it last week. Um, but because um because of timings, we were going to do one last week and one next weekend because the weekend after I'm away. And I'll be back for the following Sunday. So, yes. 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 So, stay tuned. So here we are. Anyway, here we are. Floss tube number 37. Yes. Flying without Today an Today is the 12th of January. No, it's not. It's the 12th of February. We're, we'll be returning into the Slayback Farm because they film on Mondays. Hi, guys. Hi, guys. Yeah. Yes. Mm. Yeah. Hi. Right. Should we do the stitching and get we, on with it? We, we need are... to get on with it because we're on a time mm. constraint. It's quarter we are. past three already. We've got to do this in like 15, 15 minutes, minutes. Because he's got to go. <laughs> I do. Well, I could do my bit we and then you could finish up. Such a busy day. We have. Yeah. Right. Mm. Starting out, like we were at the tip for nine o'clock. So. Mm. Me first? We are. Okay. Oh, so. Let's tip. Uh, we normally do fully finishes first. Have you got any? Oh, yeah. Oh, oh my word. Shall I get? Yes, please. If you could run and grab, that would be fabulous. Run and grab. Run and grab. Run and grab. Running and grabbing. We have a fully finished object. Fully At finished. last, for your delight and delectation. I don't think we showed this previously, did we? Uh, no, let me just get the right way up. That's it. That's the right way up. So, I mean, I'm not sure if I did show it previously, but this went back to... Um, Hawkins Hobbies because we discovered a slight glitch in the programme on it. I'm going to apologise for any glare and also for the noise of any police vehicles going past. But look! It should be mm, nice and, yeah. Yeah, we're either going to get the ring light. Mm. Do you want to turn the ring light off for the moment, actually? Let's turn the ring light off for a minute. There we go. We have to natural, with natural light. light. Look at mm. that. But <laughs> finally, we've got Cape Breton Christmas textured, textured, treasures. textured treasures back from... Um, now, I am holding this straight in the camera, but you will notice that it is slightly off centre. So, yes. so the top is slightly that way, and the bottom is ever so slightly that way. Yes. Bless her, Zarina and Robert have tried twice to get this sorted out for me. Trixie. But I think it is in a large part due to it having walked while being stitched and having been on the frame for such a long time yes. that it's now three quarters of a centimetre out from between top and bottom. But that said, stunning, stunning framing. I don't know, they're, stunning. They're, they're, excuse, the, excuse the dust. But yeah, look at that. Look, there it we is. We could run a museum on dust, couldn't we? We could. Yeah, we could probably power the world generator on dust. But there you go. So there's my Cape Breton Christmas bell. Oh, no bell. Ah, ling, 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 behind, ling, ling. Behind you. There you go, sir. If you're going to hold it like that, they're going to ring gently. There we go. Yay. So there we have it. Next. Nicely done. Whips. Your whips, sir. Okay. Without further ado, we have a Dimensions uh, kit. Ty tiger in Called the Tiger in the Water. It, we haven't got any notes. So what no. I will do is I'll put all of this information in the and, thing as usual. Um, this is where it's at. I think if Morty puts something up here, what it did look like oh, yeah, see my face behind there, <laughs> there we go. um this is a absolute joy to stitch um i'm really it's a different challenge doing the black but it's not impossible slows the stitching down i think that's good for me um but no loving how this is growing mm -hmm. um a few more stitches put in it i gave it five days i promised to give each one five days when they came out and this got five days um, and so there we are. There is, there are black stitches in that as well. There are black stitches in there. Yeah, black on black. Yeah, yeah. Poor you. That was, it was okay. It's okay. <laughs> it's okay. Um, 
I'll talk more about stitching on black, in my opinion, of course, yeah, next um, time, later maybe. when we've got more time. Okay. So also up, last time you saw this, this is... Looked like this. This, this is Starry Night this by the very, very well-known... Vincent van Gogh. Indeed. That's Kicked the man. by Benway. Say no more about and that. We're stitching it on 14 count ivory coloured Ada. Yes. This is what it looked like last time, as I said, and here's what this, it looked what like. This is what it is now. Last I'm loving time, yes. it. Yes. I'm not sure whether I'm enjoying this because I love this picture or because the stitching is just such a joy to do as it grows with the star and then the star and, yeah, top of the tower. Uh, it, yeah, top yeah. of the tower's coming in and you've done a couple of stars. I'm stitching it on, what did we say? It's 14 count ivory ada. Yeah. Um, no grids, just doing it, working it out. In, I'm trying to do it in Full royal coverage. rows. Yeah. Yeah, trying to do it in royal rows. Um, using the pins as my markers, it's working. Yeah. Um, the tension's a bit loose, darling. Okay. Need to, need to tighten up. Okay. Don't know why that's happened. And finally, those of you who follow me on Instagram, thank you very much for your likes. I appreciate people popping by and saying uh, that you like what's gone on with this particular piece. It's um, Ink Circle's Henna Mandala. And it looked like this last time. Last I'm time... Last time you saw it on here, it looked like this. Yes, if you follow yes. this one on Instagram, Instagram he's, already set, he's already released a spoiler. Exactly. <laughs> so last time it looked like this. Yeah. Um, this it's time... being stitched on a, a linen that I got from Coffee Crafts at oh, the Bristol. Bristol Stitch Day. Go back a couple and you'll see all about the coffee disaster. No, not the coffee disaster. The, the Bristol shenanigans. The Bristol forgot your pattern disaster. Yes, uh. yes. But anyway, it's looking now like this. Um, wow. It's fab. It's proper fab. Now, the more astute amongst you might have noticed there's a slight problem with this particular piece of work. It doesn't matter. Um, but it, it it is a very interesting exercise in what happens when something gets damp mm. and it doesn't have colour fast floss. Mm. Or at least we think it's it's the floss that's not colour fast. Mm. To show you what colours are in it. Yes. But, you know, ultimately, at the end of the day, and we've had a bit of a glitch with another piece of his lordship's mm. work recently, and we've had a big debates about, do you frame a piece that has become spoiled mm. due to running colours? Running colours, yeah. Mm. You've put, regardless of whether or not the colours have run, you put an awful lot of work and effort into something mm. that you're just then going to discard. If you love the piece enough, mm. depending on how the colours have gone, mm. we've decided mm. we're going to we're still going to frame a piece. Frame it we'll, when you, you'll see it when you see it, but mm. ultimately it'll also serve for the rest of your days as a reminder of what not to do. <laughs> yes, with stitching where you think you might not be colour fast. Seven minutes over to you. Oh, you're, you're done. All done. Okay, three whips. So last time I was talking about doing the whip go and we had called in January, we had called Sleepy Hollow and Nevermore. Um, Sleepy Hollow, I got the five days done before the last floss tube. Gosh. This time I've been working on Nevermore to get it, get the well, in January I was working on Nevermore. This is what it looked like the last time that you saw it, which was during floss tube 36. Um, and I did complete my five days, and it now looks... A whole bird! It's a whole bird. Hang on, let me move the bat, because that's just going to confuse the It's a whole bird! It's a whole bird with legs and the. Yeah. The. 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 And, a, and a little... The. I think the little design was there, the little Quaker... Like, it was like symbol, a QR code. And it stopped about here, but I managed to get all the legs in and some yeah. of the bit underneath, and the. This, this raven's called the. Yes. No, it's called Quoth. Quoth. It's Quoth the Raven. Quoth yeah. the Raven. Yeah. Good in dog hair. So there's that one. Very cool. Um, I'll put at the bottom here how many stitches I did in total over yeah. those five days. So there's that one. Sorry for the high speed shenanigans, oh, but we're just going to do it. Whoosh tonight. Um, the World of Cross Stitch and Stitch Along. I still haven't completed January, so we're halfway through February nearly now. Um, what it looked like last time is this. And it's now got to this point. Aha. So, yeah, so I've done all of that box and the bit there, but I've still got quite a bit to do in there. I've got the flowers done. I've got a back stitch to do. Um, the reason why not very much has been done is simply because I have another pattern release coming up in the Stitchers Collective, um, the March zine. 
taken priority. We'll be advertising for that fairly soon. Um, but that's taken priority with the designing. And of course, I've had a couple of weeks of feeling dreadful. Yes. So not much stitching got done but there you are. at all. But there you go. So that's actually coming along. I'm looking good. about the colours. Let me come in a bit closer on that one. Yeah, the pastels. The colour, yes, pastels. The pastels. Looking um, good though, looking clean and looking pretty. tidy. Yeah. Very. Oh, what was it? Was it Potty Mouth Stitcher said? Yes. Holy Backstitch Batman. Or well, it <laughs> might have been, might have been cross, cross Stitch Cats and Chaos. Holy Backstitch. Backstitch Batman. Yes, there's, there's quite a lot in that particular piece. Well, there will be. Um, which leads me on to Whipgo, February 2024, called Sleepy Hollow again. So I've got another five days to do on Sleepy Hollow before the end of the month. And also Spooky House, which was quite fortuitous because I last touched Spooky House 9th of January last year, 2023. So it, last time you saw it, it looked like this. Uh-huh. Not a great deal different now. It now looks, if we get a hold, like this. Yeah, it doesn't look very different, does it? But what I have done is I've added in, I've, I've added in missing threads all over the place. So I've done about 150 stitches so far. I've only done two days on it. Um, and it's bitty stitching. So I've put pieces in around here. Mm. And to hold it a bit closer to, there we go. Let, me, let, the, let the dog see the rabbit, you know. Um, <laughs> Do you know what? Should we put this put back on? Put the light on? back on. Oh, no. Whoa! Bright light. Yeah, bright. Yeah, that there we light. go. Yeah, so I've actually seen it in the camera like that. You can start to see some of the depth and the shadow on it. Mm. Um, put some stitching in around here. I've put this, you can't really see it, there's sparkly threads there. Um, and I've worked on the, the, the arch bit there. And I've put in stitches along up here and around that whole frame um so yeah it's around about 150 stitches in total but they've just been disappeared mm. into the work because it was all gappy but however you may feel about this piece, particular piece there's no denying what a wonderful chart it is it's very clever but there's an awful lot of blending it's a it's it's got designs on wanting to be a Teresa Wentzler to be <laughs> it's not quite that bad but it's bad enough okay Yep, all done. All done. Mm -hmm. um, and as I say, I haven't done anything on Sleepy Hollow yet. Um, also worked on Siren's Lament. <laughs> Woo! Uh, lots of blue. Last time you saw it, it looked like this. Mm, blue, like this. Mm. Yes, mm. So as you can see, I'm about mm, 300, 600 squares away from the, the ship. Still haven't quite made it to the ship. But here's what it looks like now. And as you can see, we're getting, we're almost at the ship. We are really almost, I think last time I was about here. Mm. And we're now starting, just starting to get into the, the nice. next lot of. Nice. Just there. Yeah. Nice. I still love this piece. It's I'm fabulous. really glad I'm not doing all, it's, it's, it's a busy piece right to the bottom. Mm. So it'll be good. Mm. Um, I have also worked on my Chatelaine. And I have been filming it, so you're not going to see it here because otherwise you're not going to tune into the next video, which will be released next nice. weekend. Nice, that was a nice touch. Yeah, next weekend I am going to put up a video which covers the recent batch of stitching I've done on the Chatelaine, including a little bit of a stitch with me. I probably might speed it up a bit. I but... don't think you'll be disappointed. I think the Chatelaine's looking particularly lovely. Thank you. Mm. Yeah, um, it mm. has been... Bit of a challenge. <laughs> um, it's taken me with a capital C quite a few weeks to put in the stitching that I have done <laughs> um, because it is very tiny, tiny, tiny work. Um, was it one over one? Just, yeah, one over one. On twenty five. On twenty eight count. Twenty eight count. One um, over one. But not just a couple of stitches. Six hundred and fifty six <laughs> stitches. One over one. But you have to tune in to see what it looks like. I've got to edit that as well. So. Give me a it looks like printed fabric to me. Not when the stitches yet. are that small, it looks, they're so tight together. Yeah. It looks like printed fabric. Yeah. It's, it's fabulous. Yep. Tune in. Um, have you got any haul? I have haul. You've seen my haul already. Um, I have haul. My haul is a Niedenweiler. Yes. Who's the other one you bought yourself? I thought you bought yourself Tigger. I did. It's on Tigger. It's hiding. No, it's definitely Tigger. Yeah. And the other like bit of haul is 
Tigger. Tigger. And, oh, and Tigger. He, he bought me as a present to this a little I love you. But now, mm. do you think I can find where I put them? Oh, no. <laughs> the whole hall of hall. The because hall of hall, yeah. Morty's on a stash ban. She can't buy herself anything. Well, not until we go to... Yes. Um, so he bought me a Kraken. And he bought me an Ickle Witch Poo. Oh, and a broomstick with a black cat. And a sewing machine to try and remind me to get on and actually make my project bags. And there's it another wasn't one. that at all, was it, people? No, no. Support us on this. There's Note in the comments. Somewhere. Should you get on with the... There's another one somewhere and I can't remember where I've put it. On a piece of work? Probably. Somewhere. I, okay. think, I think it might be on that which I cannot share. Aha. Ah, yes, probably. Yes. Yes, it is. Mm. It is on that which I cannot share. I don't mm. even know where I've put it at the moment. Okay. Oh, I can see it's on the dining room table, but you'll have to see it next time. So, that, with no further ado, we've hit 16 minutes. We're done. Talk about motivation. Let's prove. So, as I say, next weekend, <laughs> look out for the Chatelaine video. It will yes. be quite a lengthy one, probably a good hour. And we'll do a um, fully safety netted, prepped, notes and all. End of end, the month. End of the month. Cause, well, no, uh, it'll be the start of next month. It will, because uh, Morty's away. Yeah, I'm going up to Essex to visit my mother. Um, so. Yes, it will be... Oh, golly, which day of the week will it be? The second, something like that, of March? Hey, hey. Third of March? We'll, 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 we'll produce something as quickly as we can, Fourth because we like March. doing this, don't we? I <laughs> like doing this. Fourth of March. Right. <laughs> we'll see you next time. As I say, thank you for your kind words. Yes. Um, won't do all the shout-outs and the, what we've been watching and who we've been doing. Um, we love you all equally. Most Just of my fabulous. Lovely what a, got vlogs out and what have you. What an amazing community we are. Indeed. Uh, the different floss tubes that go out and stuff. Um, yeah. Everybody. At least I can talk. <laughs> Indeed. Down in your boots, wasn't it? It was. So, right. without we, further ado, we better say goodbye so you can go to work. Yeah. We hope you stay happy, healthy, wise and well. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, ring that bell. We'll see you next time. Bye for now. Bye.